In this tutorial, I'll show you how to make a Trello webhook. First, you will need a Trello account, and you need to be logged in for this. Go to your browser, and go to this link. I'll post the link in the description of the video. Now you need to agree to the terms. Now you go to this page. First is this key. I copy paste it somewhere, we will need it later. Next, click on token here. Now you need to give the webhook permission to use your account. So press allow. Now this next key is very important. You can never tell anyone this key. Also copy paste it and keep it somewhere else. You will need it later. Now go back to your Trello. Create a new list where you want the reports to go to. Create a card. It can be anything. Click on it. Now in the URL, at the end, type dot JSON. Now you get this. You can control F and search for ID list. And gives you this code here. Also copy paste that and keep it somewhere. We will need it in a moment. I'll use this code from another tutorial. If you're interested in how it works, you can go into the link in the description. This code was originally made for Discord, but Trello works a bit different. So first of this link will be the same for everyone. You have to type this in here. Next, data that we send. In Discord, it's just the content. In Trello, it's a bit more complicated. First, we have the name. That's the name of the card. So let's say work report. Next is the description. This is what's in the card, so the actual report. Then we get the key. So this is the first key that we got. Next is token. So this is the very important secret one. Now you get position. So this is where the new card will be added on the list. I'm going to say at the bottom. And lastly, it's going to be the ID list. So we know to which list it should be added. So it was the last key that we got. I'm going to fill in these two off camera. I filled in the keys, so let's try it out. And we're getting an error. Like error says, HTTP requests are not enabled. Now if you get this error, you first need to publish your game. Next, go to Home, Game Settings, Security, and Enable Allow HTTP Requests. Now let's try again. Now let's go to Trello. As you can see we have our bug report. And it says subscribe. Now another little extra thing you can add. 
go back to studio now behind the name we can say let's separate it with this dot dot os dot date and the reports it will also say the date that's a bit easier to keep track of so if we try that again Now go to Trello, you can see big reports and the date of today. That's it for this tutorial. If it helped you out, give a like and subscribe and have a nice day.